Like I feel like my back is now fat. <laughs> like it's just fat now. It's no longer that. But from gym. When I remove my hand, you must start. Okay. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Princess, back with another video. And today, we're gonna be basically doing something very simple. I'm just gonna show you guys my everyday routine for when I'm going on campus and I want to like look a bit better. You understand? So I'm not gonna be doing the the whole full coverage foundation, what that 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 ten thousand steps that I usually do. This is a more simple, just look like hide the imperfections a bit and go out of the house. It's like a ten minutes quick look. I'm gonna start by using the Elegal Pro filter concealer. We got Miss Lissetti behind the camera. Did you win or did Tobega win? I don't know. <laughs> you haven't checked. No, the comments are not. No, they by the thing you were there to vote. I didn't oh no. After voting you see how much one person got and the other person got. I didn't check. I only saw the comments. Uh, if you guys have not checked out that that video, it's one of my half and half videos with um, my friends Tobega and the Sadi and I'll link it up in the eye above. So you can go check it out. And excuse my lashes, I'm due for a refill on Monday or Tuesday. So I'm gonna start by taking the Illegal Pro Concealer and just putting it underneath my eye just to hide the discoloration. But you see like underneath my eye it's a bit darker than like the rest of my face, obviously. I hope this can work because you can't hear this construction workers in my video. I have this, I don't know what it is. I, had, I think I had a pimple and I popped it. Um, So don't ever pop your pimples. But I have this scar on top of my nose. So I'm just gonna do a line down the bridge of my nose and focus on that scar with a bit more concealer. And allowing your concealer to set allows it to have more coverage um, instead of having to go in with more product to cover. And I'm also gonna kinda hide this other pimple that I had and popped. And just basically around my mouth, it's a bit darker than the rest of my face. So I'm, this is kind of color correcting actually. I'm just gonna go around my mouth and a bit on my forehead just so that when i do my eyebrows there's something to link everything together you know so yeah and then i'm gonna take my i'm first gonna take my concealer brush that i got from pink glaze on instagram i'll link her instagram page down below and i'm gonna start stamping the product in moral of the story children we all need concealer basically <laughs> And I usually leave the concealer underneath my eyes for the longest time because uh, that's where I want the most coverage. And then I just spread it out because this is my foundation brush. Obviously, it has like foundation from the last time I applied foundation. So as I spread it out, like it gives the rest of the skin just a tiniest bit of coverage. Oh, and how do you guys like me without my wig for the first time? Not for the first time, but for the first time where I'm actually not gonna wear a wig mm -hmm. at all. If y'all can hear me chewing gum, I'm so I hope they can't hear you chewing gum. I'm also just gonna go on top of my lid, but I'm later on after doing my eyebrows gonna put a bit more concealer there. So when I get to the concealer underneath my eyes, you start blending from the bottom, dragging it down like so and out. Just so you can disperse the concealer and it's not all focused on one spot. And then I can go underneath my eye. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm not going to take my loose setting powder by Yardley um, in translucent buff to set my under eyes. Uh, before doing that, I'm just gonna take a sponge and smooth out any creases that might have formed and take off any excess product. And I would usually use like a, a sponge to do my under eyes, but because I don't want that full full coverage, I'm just gonna use this flat brush that I bought at Bali. And you wanna keep this because it's so light, just under your eye, and kind of swipe it down. 
as you all know the use of setting powder is to prevent any creasing throughout the day and since we put a significant amount of concealer under our eyes we don't want it to move around or crease during the day i'm also gonna go down my nose because uh, my concealer usually moves around my nose and around my smile lines okay, before i go any further i'm gonna move on to my eyebrows i'm gonna take my small angled brush and the matte dip brow I'm gonna take a bit of concealer, the same concealer I used and take my other angled concealer brush and basically just clean the bottom of my brow. I'm also gonna drag that same concealer onto my lid. Like I said before, I don't like the discoloration that is on my lid. I'm gonna take my translucent powder again and set the concealer. And sometimes I would leave it like this. Uh, sometimes I would just put like one color in my crease and call it a day and leave the house so i'm quickly gonna do the other eyebrow off camera and probably like throw on one glass shade and i'll be back with you guys i'm using this design highlighter blush and bronzer palette and i'm using i'm just dipping into these two shades <laughs> hey for something they're just putting it all over the lid <laughs> bye bye while I'm still holding the blush, I'm gonna take my blush brush, also from Pink Place, and dip into. I'm just gonna do this. Smile it. And blush just makes you look healthier and gives the skin a flash of color, so it doesn't look dead. Do you see the difference? I'm now gonna take my my big fan brush and my bronzer by Beauty Treats. I'm gonna take a lot, and I'm gonna use a light hand when I do this. To just graze just like you see where the hollow of your cheek is just a bit on top of that and just and a big fluffy brush like this allows you to not have like a harsh bronzed look i'm just gonna go on my edges and go on the sides of my nose I'm now gonna take my Feeble Highlight Bronzer Palette, two shades that I left. Just gonna hit the tops of my cheek. Now I'm gonna take my MOD Makeup Finishing Spray and I'm gonna spray my face to set my makeup in place. Take my Beauty Blender and press that into my skin. I'm gonna take my Miss Signature Glow Illuminating Baked Powder, highlight my inner corners. I'm not gonna just use this dark brown Huda Beauty lip thing. I'm now gonna take this 3D Fantastic Mineral Lipstick by Miss Rose, and it's just a nice pink color. And whenever I'm doing this 10 minutes makeup thing, like my quick makeup look, I always put gloss on. Okay guys, and this is the final look all done. I hope you guys like the result and you like this type of video where I am breaking down each step of my makeup and why I do it. Please tell me down below of what you think of this type of video. And if you guys would like to also see my skin routine of how I get my glowy skin Skin that is healthy you know um please tell me down below if you would like my full skin routine and we have reached officially reached 200 subscribers we're now on 225 and thank you guys for your support thank you for your subscribing and i also like to thank my boyfriend for also asking people to subscribe for me um yeah <laughs> so yeah um please subscribe if you're not really subscribed if you like this type of video or if you like the finished look please give this video a big thumbs up it helps me a lot and i'll try to be more consistent in my uploads but exams are approaching so i will be dedicating the majority of my time to my academics but as soon as i got this degree girl i'm gonna be uploading like you know what i don't know to not know but anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support um, i'll see you guys in the next one